guys, um, so today I want to do just like, ew, my hair, <laughs> gross. Um, I just want to do a video like talking about my makeup collection because um, obviously I have a lot of makeup. Um, I've been doing makeup for three years now and um, obviously the first two years I wasn't that good at it. But over those three years, I've just accumulated a lot of stuff. Um, I want to say it's like half drugstore, half high end. Just because in the very beginning, like, I was like 11 or 12, I had no money, so I was like buying stuff on Amazon, which is super fun. Um, and this isn't all my makeup, this is just like the stuff I have on my dresser and in my makeup organizer. Um, I also have some other stuff in like a dresser drawer, but that's like stuff I barely ever use, so I'm just not going to have in this video. Okay, so I'm going to start with foundations, just because I have a lot of them. Alright, um, so I have two of these, but they're like different colors. Holly, please be quiet. Sorry, that's my dog. Hi. Do you want to be in the video? Nope. nope. Mayor, please get Holly. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so these are the L'Oreal Paris True Match. I have two of them. I have like, this one is like more of a summer tone. Um, it's W2, and then this one is like my winter tone because I get very light in the winter, like a <laughs> piece of paper white. Um, and it's an N1. Okay. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade 180. Really like that one. Turn that off! I love having three sisters. It's always so quiet. Then I have this Mary Kay CC Cream. I've used most of it because it's like a summer color and I could never wear it in the winter. But I think it looks really nice on my skin tone as long as I like set it. Otherwise it's like gross and dewy. This, if you can't tell, I've used a lot of it. This is my Born This Way foundation. Um, this is in my winter shade and it's the shade Snow. Um, so I kind of want to get like a, one a shade um, darker. Because I really like it. But I can't use it right now. Or I'll look like um, Casper the Ghost. This, okay, I have two L'Oreal foundations. Actually, I have four. Okay, but these are the Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 101. And then this is the Infallible Total Cover in the shade 301. Which, I think these are, yeah, they're both classic ivory. I think it's just because they're, like, different formulas. Alright, and then I have Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus. I don't use this that much. I got it, like, two years ago. Which, it's expired, but I don't feel like throwing it out, um, because I've only used it, like, three times. And I have it in the shade Porcelain. Alright, and then, I think this is my, yeah, this is my last foundation I have. And it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 00B Light. So, if you haven't, if you can't tell, all my foundation shades are, like, super light, because... As many concealers, um... It's because I don't do concealer that often. It's only if I have like a spot like right now. <laughs> Love that. So I have the two Maybelline. I think these are the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair and Light. Then I have the NYX HD Studio. I don't even know. And mine is in the shade 01. I think it's the light lightest shade. Then I have the Pro Conceal LA or L. LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade White Ivory. This is my summer color. And then I have the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. Primer. Okay. I don't use mo most of these. So I have the Sleek Hydrating Primer. That's really good. The Elf Poreless Face Primer. I would recommend this if you're on a budget because it's like three bucks. Um, the NYX Angel Veil. I love this. I think that this is a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which I also have. And then I have the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. All right, and then I'm just going to add this to primers. It's not a primer, but I only have one of them. So I have the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector, and I have it in the green one because I have redness, which is like, you know, super fun. Okay, I'm going to move on to brows, so I only have five things for this. I have the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara, and mine is in the shade Nothing But Brunette. 
This is like black though. I mean, it's good, but I should get a shade lighter. Then I have the e.l.f. What is this called? Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Medium Brown. I think this is like a dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this is like $3. So I would recommend it if you're into like the Dip Brow, but you don't want to spend like $22. Balling on a budget. Then I have the Mini Benefit Brow in this shade. I think it's 3 Yeah, 3 Again, I like it, but like it's $24, which is why I have the Mini. And I have this e.l.f. Brow Pencil. Um, mine is in medium brown. This is like $2 at Walmart. Like, it's good. Uh, I also have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I just don't have it on me. I think it's, yeah, it's with my makeup brushes, so. Fun times. Alright, I'm going to move on to setting sprays. So I have the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. Yeah. <laughs> Then I have the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I have this e.l.f. Primer Mist, which I don't like. I feel like the formula is good, but like the sprayer, like, I don't know if you can, yeah, you guys can't see that. But it's like not good, like it just shoots a straight line, which sucks. Um, so I like to use this on eyeshadows like with metallic eyeshadows that's what I use this for just because I can't really use it on my face which I mean whatever I paid like four dollars for it I have I have like four of these I have the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe and herbs it's the rose water one I don't know if I would use it as a setting spray I know a lot of people do but it's like I like it as a facial spray though I think it is a little overrated but like it's not bad I mean, it's cheap enough where it's like, I don't really care that it's not amazing, so. Alright, and then I have a mini MAC Prep and Prime. I'm going to get a full-size one when I run out of this because it's super good. What should I do next? I'll do mascaras. I have, I have a lot of mascaras. Okay, so I have two of the... Ah! I have two of the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascaras. I have the Colossal Big Lash from Maybelline. I have the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt, the waterproof one. And this is from, I don't remember what brand this is from. I think this is from, yeah, this is from L'Oreal. And it's my only waterproof mascara. Otherwise, I would throw it away because I don't really like the formula. I have the Clump, ugh, Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. The Maybelline um, Falsies. And then, this is old. I should, like, throw this away. Um, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear. Which is bad. <laughs> should give it to, like, my sister. Throw it away. That's what I do with a lot of my old makeup. I gave it to Maris. Right, I'm gonna stay on the topic of eyes and move on to eyeliner. I have more than this one. Okay, well, I don't know where some of the other ones went. But basically all my eyeliners are drugstore. I want to get like the Stila liquid liner, but <laughs> I'm kind of broke right now. So I have this NYX retractable eyeliner for like your waterline. Super good. I have the e.l.f. This is like a liquid liner. This is what I use when I do cat eyes. And then I have these two colored ones. I have a blue one and a purple one from Mary Kay. I really like these. Um, I haven't worn the purple one that much. But, like, people at school have seen me wear this as, like, just winged liner a few times, which is fun. And then I have the Maybelline Master Precise. Um, this is just, like, a felt tip, and it's in black. Palette snacks because I have a lot, like... Oh, Jesus. Oh, fun. It opened up. This is old anyway. I should get rid of it. Or I should... I'll give it to Maris, actually. Okay, <laughs> So, I'm going to start off with my, um, this is the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Palette. This was like $10, and I got it when I was, I got this when I was 10. This is like the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought. Bought it at Old Navy. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving that to Maris. Um, this is like a Mary Kay. It's not like a palette. It's like a little thing that you put like individual shadows in it. I like the shadows. I just don't use them a lot because they're all shimmers, so I don't really gravitate towards that. 
This is a Yes Please palette from ColourPop. Udang. I wish it had a mirror. My Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. What? This is the Wet n Wild Not a Basic Peach. I really like this shade. My Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. This is so these are all mattes. Except for this one is like a it's not like a shimmer, but it's got like glitter. I don't know. I think they call it like a dem demi matte. I don't know. It's good though. Then I have two Morphe palettes. So I have my broken, beaten up Morphe 35-0. Yeah, see this falls it off. Fun times. Put this back together now. Great. And then I have my Jaclyn Hill palette, which you guys have seen me use. I love this. This is great. Worth the $40. Okay, I'm going to do setting sprays. Or not setting sprays. Setting powders. So I have the Mary Kay... I think this is just it called... Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation. This is a powder foundation. I've just been using this as setting powder. And mine is in the shade Ivory. The Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in the shade Light. I have two of these. But these are the same thing. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Powder. And it's in this shade 110 Porcelain. And then I have another Maybelline Powder. This is the Loose Powder in the shade Fair. Which I only use for baking. Because otherwise it's too light for me. Alright. I'm gonna do, I'll do bronzers next, okay. So I have the Hula Quickie Contour Stick in a mini, a mini Hula Bronzing Powder from Benefit, and then the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. Move those over. Okay, I only have three blushes just because like I don't wear blush that much. I have the California Blush from Benefit, and um... This is, like, pretty, but it doesn't work for me because I'm light, as we've talked about earlier. The Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I love this. The only thing is, like, I wish that this wasn't a thing. Like, I didn't need the brush that came with it. But, like, the shade is super pretty. And then I have a mini NYX, NYX, NARS Orgasm. I like it. I don't use it that much, though. Okay, let's move on to... These are, like, highlighters and highlighting palettes. So I have this. This is this is only, like, a year old, but, like, the packaging kind of faded. And I had to press it back together. But this is the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I like this if you're on a budget. It's, like, two bucks. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. Which is super pretty. You can see like where I use it. Ooh. Shaking. Shook. I have this um, like quad from Sleek. So like these three are powders and then this is like a um, cream. I don't use the cream at all just because it's like too dark for me. But if I was a little tanner, it would work. So I like to use it on my tanner friends. Alright, and then these are, like, face, oh wait, I have one more, or I have two more, that are actually, like, all highlighter palettes. So I have the Ofra Feeling Myself highlighting palette, and then I have the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit palette. I also have this cream highlight from Benefit, it's a mini, because I got, like, a mini set, um, with, like, the bronzers and then this highlighter, but this is, like, a mini, um, What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's what's up? Highlighter from Benefit. I like this. It's too dark for me in the winter, but like in the summer it's fine. So good times. Alright, and then I just have these two face palettes left. So I have the Maybelline Master Contour in the shade light. I really like this contour and this blush. The highlight is kinda like eh. But I mean I wasn't expecting the highlight to be great anyway. And then I have the TARDIS Pro Glow. You guys have seen me use this before. So it has the four... Wait, hold on. 
Pore highlights and then the powder and the cream contour. I almost forgot about all my lip products. So this is like the thing I keep my makeup in on my dresser. I just didn't feel like pulling out all my lipsticks and stuff. So I have the, I'm going to try and go buy these really fast because I have a lot. I have the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, oh, in the shade Apple Strudel. I have this liquid lipstick from Flower Beauty. Um, the Miracle Matte Lip in the shade Nude Blush. I have two Milani lip liners. These are awesome, by the way. In the shade 02 True Red. And then I have the shade 09, which is Spice. Um, I have two Mary Kay, like, lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Mauve Movement, and then this one is in the shade, this is more of, like, a sheen one, and where this is, like, a full coverage one. This is Sparkling Rose, so, like, it does have a little bit shimmer. Fun times. Um, this is the Milani um, in the shade 78. Okay, and then I have this e.l.f. lipstick, which I love how like it has more on the bottom. Iconic, honestly. And this is in the shade Ruby Red. Um, I've only worn this like twice. But it's good. It's like a good lipstick. I approve. Jeffree Star approved. Um, I have this from e.l.f. This is Bear Kiss. I have a gloss from Mary Kay in the shade Cafe Al Latte. Um, I have another gloss from e.l.f. in the shade Burgundy. I've never worn this. Like I've worn this um, like once or twice, but I've never worn it out. I have a Vivid Matte Liquid from Maybelline in the shade 10 Nude Flush. As you can tell, most of mine are um, nudes. <laughs> Send nudes. Um, I have the, like, the name rubbed off, but this is an Ulfra Liquid Lip in the shade Cocos Island. And then I have two, these were limited edition, so you, I don't think you can get them anymore. But these are the liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild, and these were like part of their mermaid collection last year. So I have them in the shade Coral Crown and Harbor Crush, which I like these. They are very metallic though, so I've only worn, worn them like four times. I've worn them to school before. People were shook, and it was great, so... Oh, I forgot about my, okay, I forgot about this palette. I have the Mermaid of the Sea palette from Tarte. Did I close? Okay. And then I also have some cream shadows that I forgot to talk about because I'm an A-plus YouTuber. All right, so I have this thing from Revlon, which are both cream shadows. I have this e.l.f. one, and then I have ah, this Mary Kay one in the shade over the top, or taupe, I don't know. And then I have three, oh, I have more of these, actually. I have, like, ten of these. I only have, but, like, a lot of them are in my dresser because I don't use all of them. So I have three Mary Kay cream shadows. I have the iced coffee, or iced cocoa, which is, like, a brown. Um, this gold, this has, like, rose gold but gray undertones. It's kind of cool. Yeah, metallic taupe, and then I have the shade Beach Blonde, which is like an inner corner color. Then I have this one from e.l.f., and this is their Smudge Pot, Popped, Pot, not Pop, bleh, in the shade Wine, Wine Not. I hate myself. Okay, anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed me messing up, like, a lot, um, like and subscribe, that's fun, yeah, good times, I'm, I'm an icon, anyway, bye.